welcome back to the show guys it's time for the top tip of the week last week lots of nice comments thank you so much for helping me getting this boat back in the water the top tip of the week is from jackie o you did not brush the bronze away that prop has some de-zincification first time i ever heard that word it has pink areas i thought i took the bronze off not too bad but get you a spare so when you throw a blade you will not be broken down get you a prop puller as well very good tip the pink areas are caused by electrolysis and other factors and basically is prop rot good luck and keep up the great videos and work thank you so much please help me with your top tips even like i said if it's hard to keep the beer cold on the boat and please if you haven't done so just down there on that little square at the bottom of your screen you can subscribe you can, you can do it right now go for it click thank you i see that about 50 percent of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed yet just please help me to get to 10,000 subscribers i will be so freaking happy to do that have an awesome day and remember you're awesome and you can achieve anything that you want to enjoy this week's episode see you next week so that's the blue i'm hoping to get and i always wondered what magic would look like white but i don't really think that she's that nice in white so what we decided is to keep this white all the way to the end of that ribbon and then this top part i want white and then the bootstrap i want or this bootstrap i want white and the rest will all be dark blue and let's see what that's going to look like oh and this i'm going to try and take the paint off this and try and get it back to the natural color so it matches the mast i mean as i say that i can already feel me sweating and sanding away for days but what do you think kev I think she's gonna take a lot longer than we really need her to be, but it would be a good addition to the to the boat, no doubt. But I think best of option we have is if everything is going white in lines, this would be our white line out of the boat. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll give it some thought, and then we'll see how we feel. Busy day of boat work. We all can't wait to get Magic uh, Woman back in the water and uh, start doing some paper boat projects. But it's been a long, hard day in the scorching heat, and uh, I'm just gonna go see what Captain Stefan's up to. Hi. What is up? I just got stung by a wasp. Oh, how did that feel? Um, a little bit hotter than the sun right now. <laughs> So what happened was, uh, I don't know, in my broken Spanish, I didn't tell them, apparently not, or well, somehow they didn't do the bowsprit, so the bottom of it, so it's white. And um, they quoted me on painting the boat, but they didn't include the bowsprit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand it myself, and while the paint is here, I'm just gonna paint it myself. So that's what I'm doing right now. All right, that's an awesome plan. I'm gonna go ahead and walk all the way out there and uh, further investigate what's happening. Hold on, if I can actually film myself doing that. Yes. You lack of oh. Hey, here we go. I made it. <laughs> All right, there's our boys hard at work. Oh yeah. Doing a fine job, guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh Hope yeah. So. This is one of our followers, and he has a beautiful blow boat out there, and the veterinarian is inspecting the dog. <laughs> this dog is really um sad because i've seen her lie in like the shower area and uh, she has a gaping thing there it it's just an open old wound and i can tell it's a really old wound because the edges here are sealed um so that's never going to come together it's never going to heal as far as look there on that uh, on her leg there as well yeah that's really old but it's a little warm to the touch it's got a bit of discharge it's a bit infected um, and I suspect that might be contributing to why she's a bit skinny as well if she's not eating well because she has a fever because of these wounds. I can potentially stop at the pharmacy and see what I can get over the counter if I can get some appropriate antibiotics that I know I can give in the 
appropriate dose. Um, I might try and do that. I really want to see her a little bit happier. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she knows you want to help her. This is why you kept coming up to me, huh? This is why. Okay. She knows that you can okay. help her. I should never give any medications to a dog or a cat without knowing that it's safe and without expert advice. Um, but I'll go to the pharmacy and see if I can find something that is safe for dogs and we'll see if we can't get that healed. Sweet! Yeah. I'm gonna go sand the sand. I'm gonna go sand the cron sign. Why do you want to send the cron sign? Because I want to paint it properly. What is the cron sign? The cron sign. <laughs> Don't put it on the spot like that. What is the cron sign? Tell me the and go. The cron sign is the piece that holds this moss up. The cron sign is off, the moss falls. It holds okay. the dolphin stripes as well. Nice, good so job. One day. Okay, one day. Good learning. And then I want to know, what have you been doing the last six months in your life? Last six months? I have been a super yacht deckhand. I've been doing day working on motor yachts, big boats. And I was just like, you know what? I'm tired of working for big boats. I'm doing this the rest of my life. I might as well get into the club that I can't get to anymore. Which is a small boat. This is the best boat. <laughs> yes, that's the right answer. <laughs> Hey guys, here's just another sneak peek at my uh, wonderful workspace down here. So I'm uh, painting the steering column. This metal, well now it's a beautiful shade of white um, box here. That was hand built by Stefan in Puerto Rico from what I understand, so he's quite proud of that. Uh, it's quite an important part of the boat. It's housing all the pulleys and all the um, the equipment and the machinery for uh, for how we steer the boat. So, want to make sure that we uh, give her some love and uh, make her look nice and pretty. And uh, it's a bit challenging. Uh, you can see it's it's very difficult to to reach some of these places for painting. Um, but I'm managing. I'm quite proud of how it's going. Actually, it's going to be very very rewarding to see how beautiful she looks in the end. So, we got wasps. And young lady over here, how do you feel? It hurts! Yeah, it's because she wants, she wants to coexist with everything. I saw the wasp going, she's like, hey little guy, I'm like, something's gonna happen. She's like, there's two of them! I'm like, give it five minutes, and I just hear, ah! Exactly wasp got me! That's exactly okay. what happened, right? My so, own damn fault, yeah, so that's pretty much exactly what happened. So and, now, we, and now I've got the spray. There we go. <laughs> Look at the mighty Stefano, out in the wild, you can find a wild come Stefano. Come check it, come check it! Look how absolutely beautiful that is. That's the old one, these are the new ones. So happy, it's gonna look nice. Por que? Por que si? Wow! Show me, what is it? Is it Barca de papel? No, it's a hat. Ah, oh, it's a hat for me. Thank you. Bon dia. Buen dia. Como Stefan. Como estas? Como estas? Oh, no, Stefan. Okay, gracias. <laughs> gracias. Give me a drink. Donkey. This is my friend. Hey, como estas? Muy bien. Mira. Come here. Okay, Portuguese lesson. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. Nariz. Nariz. Uña. Uña. Manos. Dejos. Dedos. Dedos. <laughs> okay. Eh, cabeza. Cabeza. Dientes. 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 Ajá, uh -huh, dientes. Eh, superhero. ¿Qué? <laughs> Superman! No? No Superman? I 
what do they say? You get a little can, and then, I don't know what you call it, it's like gooey things inside and you open it. Oh, a can of worms. That's that. I just took out the stove and then I inspected the plywood in the back and I realized that it's damp. So I'm taking it out and we'll replace it. Probably not too damp. Okay. So that needs to be nice marine plywood. I'm gonna inspect this too. This kind of feels good, but if we can do that nice new plywood, maybe new plywood here, but this kind of looks okay. And then, uh, then we know that's good. What's going on right now? I'm going up the mast! With foil? <laughs> Why foil? foil? I've why never seen foil? somebody go up the mast with foil. Tell me yeah, why. Yeah, I never heard of it either, but apparently it deters woodpeckers, which is our present uh, problem. So. Who are you calling a woodpecker? <laughs> <laughs> calling him a woodpecker? You're a woodpecker. And we're sending Bob as well, up as well. Yeah. Emmanuel. Bob's going to scare off the woodpecker. Okay, do some funny voice. <laughs> <laughs> on the spot, on the spot. Do, do English. You want me to do an English accent? No, yeah. people T back home will be like, hey man, that's how you talk like that, yeah? Tell like me, what, me what is going on with Bob, mate? Where so is he going right now? Bob, I thought it was Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Okay. So Bob's going to go up, he's going to be chilling on the mast there, and anyone, anyone of those little woodpeckers are going to come up and they're going to be like, hey, get out of my fam, yeah? <laughs> there you go. Sorry guys, it's not so good. <laughs> so as you guys can see here, we are doing a little safety precautions, always have to do safety first. Okay, so make yes. sure that all your buckles are tight, make sure that's nice and tight. See if you're happy with your bowline. Okay, are you sitting nice and fine? Tie yourself in so you can't fall forward, which is like that. And then this piece, make a little knot in it, okay? So you don't accidentally open that. Just do everything that you can to make sure that you're safe, okay? I'll be on the winch. He's gonna be tailing the winch for me. Usually, if I have a, a big person, I have a second halyard on here. But you little light person, so that's fine. Enjoy cooking up there. <laughs> Gonna make some great meals up there. Me and Bob. Where's Bob? Yeah, you better have Bob. Have Bob. Okay, so what I want is I want a thumbnail. Taking me up, boys. There we go. Yeah. Ooh, we're going up. <laughs> You'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers. Who soar to high heights? I'm, uh, I'm just chilling on top of the mast of uh, Magic Woman. So uh, I'm up here loaded with some foil. And uh, I had a, a bird, Bob. We've just hung him there. And uh, basically, we've had some pesky woodpeckers, pesky, pesky peckers, uh, chomping away and building a little home inside the mast. And uh, that's obviously not okay. So they've decided to send me up here being the littlest and lightest and obviously the bravest. And uh, yeah, so what we're gonna do is, uh, we've got the scarecrow uh, owl there, Bob. And I've got some foil. I've got lots and lots of foil. I'm gonna wrap that around the mast and that's gonna make it really shiny and really scary and it's not gonna look like a nice home at all for the woodpeckers. So hopefully they're gonna stay away. It's my very first time ever going up the mast. I was really excited. I'm still really excited. It's a little bit terrifying and um, it's surprisingly difficult to navigate all these little lines and spreaders and uh, gear and all this stuff. I thought it would be just like a straight shot off the mast, but it really wasn't so easy. Oh, here comes the other crew member on a motor taxi. It's 50 pesos to be on one of those taxis, which is $1. Okay guys, so what do you think of my beautiful artwork here? So the problem that I have is that the dolphin striker that comes from the bow sprit from the crons, bottom of the crons iron, then comes down here and it's being supported by this 
piece of, I mean, I don't even know what you call this, shroud or something. But it's not closed here at the bottom, as you can see. So, which means that it comes loose and then this thing just flies to port or starboard side all the time. So what I had done when I was in Puerto Rico is I put this little clip in there and I just took some mousing and I just moused it as much as I possibly can. And I don't have any other solution for it and it looks so bad. So I'm really not impressed or very proud with this job. What would you have done if this was your boat and you had to get this thing in here? I have no other idea. Maybe my brain is just, my brain is just a little bit frozen. But please comment below how you think I can make this much better. Who's this little girl? Huh? We made a new friend. This boat is an absolute construction zone. <laughs> As you can see, the hull is quite dirty. Um, plan of action, boat is getting painted today. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode. If you haven't done so already, please smash that subscribe button, hit a like, post a comment, and consider becoming one of my patrons and support my work. Next week, we get our hands really dirty in fixing this beauty that I call Magic Woman. Remember, you're awesome and you can overcome anything you want. See you next time right here.